Apple. It is a remarkable piece of work. Feel the material, hard as steel, but very light. You really want to be fooling with that thing? I do. I absolutely do. I have been waiting a long time to get my hands on one of these. Okay, you're making me nervous, Bill. Don't be. I don't think I have the right genes to properly wield it. Oh, but Desmond, you think he does? You were snooping, wandering outside the Desmond partition. So once the Animus located you, it pulled you back here. It's just following orders. Like a... a fail-safe program. Trying to keep your poor head intact, whether you like it or not. What are you doing here exactly? Playing. Learning. Waiting. A lot of waiting. I keep the Animus distracted as best I can. For you, so you can explore. Otherwise it might hunt you down like a little virus and, uh, delete you. Well, my guardian angel. There's no such thing. Yeah, I... Thanks. Sean, it's me. What's happening? Are you at the airport? Yeah, we're chartering a jet. Are you coming? Yes, yeah. I'll be there soon. Good. They... they buried her already. I heard. The little cemetery outside Rome. Nice place. Oh, God. Things got so fucked up so fast. Is Desmond still out? Yeah, we're seeing a lot of brain activity, but with the monitoring system shut down, we can't record anything. Well, keep me posted, okay? I'll see you soon. Dear sister. Mazyov is overrun by a battery of Templars, and their motive is clear. They desire the secrets locked away in Altair's library. Secrets they believe will lead them to something called the Grand Temple. Whether or not this is true, I do know the library is real. I have seen its door for myself. But none can enter. Not without five keys which were sent to Constantinople with Niccolo Polo almost 300 years ago. Claudia, I must find these keys. The Templars have already located one, and I do not know how difficult it will be to find the others. Only time, skill, and a bit of luck will tell. Magnificent sight. It is a work in progress. No city in Europa has a skyline quite like this. Well, to be precise, that is Europa. That is Asia. Ah. Some borders even the Ottomans cannot move. Very few. You are Italian by the sound of it. But your outfit is not. Have you been traveling long? Si. A molto tempo. I left Rome a 12 months ago, looking for... inspiration. And that search brought me here. When I was a child, 
My father told me stories about the fall of Constantinople. You must mean the conquest of Constantinople. I suppose the moral of any story matches the temper of the man telling it. That we can agree on. Guzel! Constantine is a city for all kinds and creeds. Students like me or... Uh, travelers such as yourself. I have so much work to return to. But it is good to be home. Work? When I was your age, my interests were... were mainly... Salve. Incredible. I am surprised you got anything done. As was my mother. It was a pleasure speaking with you, Bey Effendi. I hope you find something to hold your interest here. I have faith I will. Yardim ed belir miyim, Effendi? Grazie, dear boy. A scholar and a gentleman. You are full of surprises. <laughs> Very few, my friend. Exceed all mine. Hoş geldin, kardeşim. Unless the legend is a lie, you are the man I long to meet. Renowned master and mentor. It's your auditori, the la la la. Prego. Uh, forgive me. I have a hard time remembering that Italian gibberish. Da Firenze. The city where I was born. Ah, yes. Uh, so, by your custom, I would be Yusuf Tazim da Istanbul. I like that. Istanbul. Yet another name for this city. Evet. It's a local favorite. Uh, come, mentor da Firenze. I will show you around. Welcome to Galata district. For centuries, it has been a home to orphans from Europa and Asia alike. You won't find more diversity anywhere else in the city. And for that reason, assassins make it their home. I would like to see where. Kissing Likle. The Brotherhood is always eager to meet the man who put the Borgias out of pasture. <laughs> oh, does everyone in this city know I'm here already? Well, your holy land tussle with the Templar did not go unnoticed. When I first set out, violence was so far from my mind. I sought wisdom. The contents of Altair's library. <laughs> not realizing it has been sealed for three centuries? <laughs> no, I assumed as much. But I never expected to find Templars guarding it. Very troubling, no? Five years ago, the Templar influence here was minimal. A small faction with dreams of restoring the Byzantine throne. But they're growing in number, day by day. And with Sultan Bayezid on his way out, they may try something dramatic. Is there no heir to the Ottoman throne? Not just one. Two angry sons. It's a familiar pattern with these royals. When the Sultan calls, <laughs> the princes draw their sword. Between the Templars and the Ottomans, you must stay busy. Ezio, I barely have time to polish my blade. I want you to stop! Now! Don't lose him again! Steady, Ezio. In a new mouth! And master at work. More Templars! Look sharp! No, no. Watch. Byzantium is dead! As are you! The whole city wakens to welcome you, Ezio. First the regents, now the rats. Ottoman soldiers have a special loathing for these Byzantine thugs. 
That gives us some breathing room. How much? Eh, just a little. They'll still kill you if you look at them wrong. But they will feel bad about it later. Touching. It's not so bad, really. For the first time in many decades, the assassins have a strong presence here. It wasn't always that way. Under the Byzantine Emperor, the assassins were hunted down and killed on the spot. We're almost there. This way. <laughs> 